Hey guys, I'm Paula again, and we're here today because I'm going to explain you how to use Abifine Reader, which is this icon, and this is the 9.0 version, which is actually really good, okay? So we're going to click on this icon, and first of all, you need to know what is Abifine Reader and what does this program do? So Abifine Reader is a software that provides optical character recognition document capture and language software and if you have a scanned document you can turn it into a, the Microsoft Word you can turn it as well into an Excel you can turn it as a PDF or you can convert a, a picture into um, Microsoft Word so you have many options to do with this program but today I'm going to explain you how to convert your scanned PDF into a Microsoft Word. So we're going to click on this icon that says convert images or a PDF file, a scanned one, into a Microsoft Word. So you click on it and here you're going to open that image and you're going to look for the PDF file that you want to work with. So today we're going to work with this PDF. As you can see it has seven pages and is a scanned document. So you click on open and it will take a little bit because it has to load all the pages and then it has to convert them into a Microsoft Word. So for now I'm going to tell you the formats that are supported by Abifine Reader, which are TIFF, JPEG, PDF, DJVU, BPF, PCX, and DCX. So those are the formats that you can work with Abifine Reader. So now you have to wait for a few minutes and uh, then I will show you how to use your Microsoft Word, your document. Okay, so now we just have one page left and we have the 72% complete. Now we have the 85% and it's almost ready. So when this is finished, it will send you to the, PD, to the um, PDF file, which is now a Microsoft Word document, okay? <clears throat> so now we have to you wait and it is open. See, our PDF file, our scanned PDF file, now it turned it into a Microsoft Word. See, I'm going to show you a little bit so you can see it and you can see it. And you, as, as I told you before, you can add something or you can erase things that maybe they're wrong in the PDF file, but always try to be careful with it because sometimes this is not your pdf file and then you don't want to upload it you don't want to upload it to the net okay okay great so now we're going to close here and you're going to click on the first page and it will send you to first you have the document then you have the image the text and the third the text so you're going to zoom here so you can see the first page, which is this one. And I'm going to show you this. So this is the area recognition, okay? And the area recognition will recognize the part of the text. So in the first page, you have two <coughs> area recogni recognition, which are page one and page two. And then if you click on text, you're going to find the text that it has. See, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see. So as I said, you click on text and then you click on this. See, and this is the text. You can make it smaller or you can make it bigger. Then you have the image. In the case that you have an image on your scanned PDF, you click on this. And then in the case that you have a table, you can add a table, okay, here. The bed, this is not the case, so I'm going to erase it. Okay. Then you have <coughs> a vertical separator. In the case that you want to separate some of, the, some of the parts of the PDF files, here, see, I put a, separ a separation between these two parts. Or then you have the... Horizon separation, which is this one. See? 
So you can sort of you can modify your scanned PDF. Great. So then you save it as a doc, as a document on Word. And I'm going to save it in uh, you I'm going to save it on my desktop. It's called hybrid that doc and then save <clears throat> and right after this see as I told you now I'll have it as hybrid that dot and then if you go back to Happy Find Reader you as well you will save it whatever you want as a document of Microsoft Word or as an um, Excel worksheet or as a PowerPoint as wherever you want and then you can have an exact copy, a copy that you can modify, or a text with a format. But in this case, we're going to work with the exact copy, and that is better for you because it will keep your PDF file just, just the same as it's real, but you will keep it into a Word, okay? You will keep it in Microsoft Word. And here, this is three. <clears throat> so we'll save it here and then here and then I'm gonna show you this so this will be our PDF file which turned into a Microsoft Word see so it seems pretty much different it seems clear and it seems better for you if you want to read it so here you can change the fonts you can increase the size of the letter and as you know you can put it in cursive or you can underline and, and do whatever you want as is it as um, Microsoft Word document and here you have the font as I said the sizes and this this language is English and it will say here English and the color of the font so it's easy and it won't take you more long and now I'm going to show you another P scan to PDF so maybe you will pay more attention on this one so we click on this and we're not saving this okay great <clears throat> so now you reopened Abbeyfine Reader but now we're going to work with another PDF file, which we want to turn into a Microsoft Word one. So you go and click on Convert your PDF. You choose the PDF file that you want to convert, which is this one. And this one has 15 pages, and it's also a scanned PDF. You open it and again you have to wait a little bit because it has to convert your scanned PDF into a Microsoft PDF and the quality will be better so it will take you a few minutes to do it. Okay so it's almost ready and it will open our PDF file now into the Word. See? This now is a Microsoft Word document and it seems, pre it seems pretty much better it's the exact copy as well and for those who can read really well with a scan document this this one will be much more better so that's why I will recommend you to use Avifine Reader as I said you can modify you can add something you can do wherever you want with your PDF file which is now a word document okay so we go back here we close this we click on the first page we double click and it will say image and text so I'm gonna make this smaller so we can see it as you see this is the first page this is the second page the third page the fourth page so we're gonna work with the third page okay so this one this first box is the PDF file as I said so here we have the area recognition, which is the text. Then we have text, and it will find the complete text of the page. And then if you click on image, you will find the image in the case that if your PDF has an image, but this one doesn't have it. Or in the case that your PDF has a table, but this one PDF doesn't have it either. 
So then on where it says text, you will see your PDF file now turned into a Word document, which seems, it seems pretty much better, okay? So now we're going to save it. We're, I'm going to save it, so pay attention where you save it. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I click on save. It's saving the document. See, it's I have it here again. And then if you go back to Abifine Reader, you can... Okay, so you save it as a, you have to save it as a document and an exact copy, as I said before, because it's better to work with. And then if you click on the text, you can change the font, you can change the size of the letter, you can make it cursive, you can underline it. And the language, as I said before, this is English as well. So it will say here English. In this case that it's another language, it will say the name of the language, okay? So as you see, it's easy to work with. It won't take you long. For those who doesn't, who can't read that very well, the PDF file, which is scanned, you can turn it into a Microsoft Word document and it's easy to work with. So I hoped you... I hoped you enjoyed this. I hoped you could learn something about Abby Pine Reader. And I'll see you the next time. Thanks.